Hello everyone, my name is Roya and uh, it is March and this is the month where Persian New Year takes place. And so I decided to read books about Persian main characters and everything this month. So I figured that I would just use this video to recommend some books on Persian main characters and everything um, that I've already read before. And these are all also own voices books, by the way, they're all by Persian authors as well. And I, as a Persian individual, absolutely love every single one of these. So so um, let's just get started. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Tell Me Again How a Crush Should Feel by Sarah Farizan and this is about a Persian American girl named Layla who's in high school and she likes girls and not boys and doesn't know how to tell her parents that because she's definitely afraid that her parents will not um, not accept that at all. She this book is really really awesome. It basically takes Layla through all sorts of, you know, normal things that every teenager sort of goes through, falling for kind of the uh, the wrong person who turns out to be totally um, a good thing. You kind of dodged a bullet there and then moving on to, you know, a better relationship and also a lot of really great friendship stuff in this where she doesn't know that she can trust her friends. She has a best, a former best friend who she has a falling, she had a falling out with and just doesn't think that friendship is in their future again at all. Maybe she can um, be friends with this person again after all and all kinds of stuff. It's a beautiful story about friendship and I absolutely love the crap out of this book. It made me laugh, it made me cry, etc, etc. The, uh, the author also wrote another book called If You Could Be Mine, which is about a queer girl who is in love with another girl in Iran. And that one's not even quite a young adult book anymore but it still kind of is. And I really liked that one as well because it's so informative about, because it takes place in Iran and everything. And it shows a pretty, you know, accurate picture of it and everything. Um, it's not like exaggerated like some, um, like some non-owned voices authors will sometimes do, et cetera, et cetera. But I didn't love it as much as Tell Me Again How a Crush Should Feel because this book right here is absolute genius gold and I love it. The next book that I'm going to talk about is The Authentics. And this is also by a Persian queer author, which is awesome. So this is about a girl named Daria who um, finds out one day that she might not be Persian at all. She may have been adopted. And this is also a really great story about friendship because she has a really great group of friends and everything who she doesn't know if she can like trust them with her secrets or not, etc, etc. Like it, it, the same, a lot of the same themes in Tell Me Again How Crush Should Feel kind of apply to this. But I think this book really does kind of, it is, it feels very relevant to not just if you're Persian, but if you have any sort of ethnicity, ethnic identity that you are proud of and you might not be that thing. But then, but really, even if you're adopted, it kind of, it kind of has a theme that, like, even if you are adopted, it, it's still your culture. Um, like, who cares if you're blood related to that family that's still your culture and all of that. And another thing that I think this book does really well is that it has a relationship subplot that is a pretty dang good relationship subplot and, but does not throw any sort of happily ever after into it whatsoever. And I think that is actually brilliant um that it has such a good relationship in it that does not end up being a forever thing at all and you know that it's not a forever thing even by the end of this book but I so I thought that was really beautifully done for sure the next book I'm going to talk about and the last one for this video is Equal of the Sun by Anita Amiraz Bunny and this is not a contemporary. This is a historical fiction about a Persian princess who actually did exist and it is um, narrated by her friend who is a eunuch. And once again, and so the princess is actually a lesbian as well. So we definitely have a theme here where we have um, Persian main characters who are queer or I mean in, in the authentics she's not queer but like her friends all are pretty much. But anyway this is a really really interesting story. It's super compelling. Basically the main character, the princess, um, she has to go through all that crappy 15th century stuff about get married, have kids, blah blah blah. And she's like I don't want to do that at all. I just want to be more involved in what's politically going on and I want to do my part, blah blah blah. And it's really, really great. It's really awesome. She's such a good character. So these are books that are by Persian authors that are about Persian main characters that are very, very awesome books, very near and dear to my heart that I got a lot out of and everything that I would highly recommend to anybody looking for 
books about a Persian main character. If you have any recommendations for um, Persian books, please tell me in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!